Hello, and welcome to this video overview of the IPA keyboard application. Thank you so much for checking out my app. In this video, I will go through all of the features so you can get the most of it. We start out on this first section called Full IPA. Here you will see something that resembles the official IPA chart. Here every uh, character is a clickable button, and when you click the characters, they are added to the input field down below. When you have your desired combination of characters, you can press this copy button or enter on your keyboard and the string will get copied. Now you can paste it in your desired application, get back here and clear the field and start over again. Most languages don't use all of the characters in the IPA keyboard. For this, I have tried to make language specific layouts. These are based on information I could find on the internet. So please send me an email if something is amiss and I will try to correct it for future users. If you want to change something yourself though, you can also press the edit button in here. This enters a wiggle mode where you can drag characters around, drag sections around, create new sections and add new characters to the sections as well. Let's say I want to add a character to the vowel section here. I press this empty uh, element down here and it gets active. So now I can go to the full IPA section, find the character I want to add, click the plus button. I can also find another character now, click that as well. And if I exit here, exit the edit mode and go back into English, you will see the two characters added here. It is also possible to add combination of combinations of characters. Let's say I wanted to add my own name here for some reason. I can do that as well. Now that is a button. It is also possible to make completely custom layouts. You do that on the plus button up here in the corner. Let's just call it that. We'll add a new section. Now this section is highlighted just as before. And you can go in here and add characters. Just press enter every time and it will get added. Now we can go back, exit edit mode and all the characters are added here. For every section, there is an export button. That is if you want to share it with, maybe you have another computer you want it on, maybe you have a friend you need to share it with or colleague or something like that. You just press the export button, save the file, send it to whomever will uh, want to use it. Then you can go into settings and import bots and or settings. You can also export the complete uh, application settings with all your bots and settings and import it as well. This is very useful for backups or to sync across multiple computers. In here you can change the font as well. I have several IPA compliant fonts you can choose from. It is also possible to hide the language specific layouts if there are some of them you don't use. Another very useful feature, but quite advanced feature, is the keyboard mode. In here you will see a complete keyboard layout, but it is empty. If I start pressing buttons on my keyboard, you will see nothing really happens. Nothing is added to the field down below, but the keys are highlighted up here. And this says, press edit to change the key. That is because I can enter edit mode. And now I can highlight, for example, the G key, and it gets active. Then if I go to the IPA section here again, I can choose this character, for example, and press done. Now you will see it added to the G key. So I, if I exit the edit mode again here and press the G key on my keyboard, that will go rid get written to the field down below. It is also possible to make key alterations using shift, alt, or a combination of the two. So if, if I hold down shift, you will see the G key gets empty. That means I can go into edit mode, hold down shift, press G here with my mouse, go to the full IPA, choose another character, press done, and now I switch between those two. If I say done here, press G, the first character is added. If I press shift G, the other character is added. These keyboard layouts are able to be exported as well, and you can also make multiple layouts if you ever uh, need that. Other than that, there's just to say that in the help section, you can find my email if you should need my help with anything, and I will be happy to assist you. 
In here, you can also learn different shortcuts for the application, making it that much easier and faster to use for you. That covers pretty much everything. Thank you for watching and thank you for using the application. Happy typing.